off from Cape Canaveral, carrying a robot weatherman into orbit for America's... At the beginning of the space age, scientists were keen to make weather observations from orbit. Launched in 1960, Tyros-1 was the first weather satellite. It was equipped with two TV cameras, regularly transmitting images of global cloud patterns, provided meteorologists with a unique view, and it was followed by improved versions. Because these early satellites were in highly inclined low Earth orbits, the data gathered covered the whole planet and it was shared across the world. Since 1873, nations had been cooperating on weather prediction via the International Meteorological Organization, which in 1951 became the World Meteorological Organization, an arm of the United Nations headquartered in Geneva. With a UN resolution calling for international cooperation in the peaceful uses of outer space, weather satellites of different nations were soon being coordinated for the benefit of all mankind. The meteorologists started seeing the planet as a complex and interconnected system. Today, a fleet of satellites is in operation monitoring the atmosphere, the oceans, the ice, the land and the biosphere. 